Hi Aries, thanks for showing up to watch this video. It's for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Personally, I think the Moon sign resonates the best, so if you want to know yours and you're not sure already, it's going to be down in the description box below. There's like a link to show you that. This is also if you are spying on a single Aries as well, as I wanted to tell you, but I neglected to tell you. This is for singles. We'll try to do couples as well. Um, and it's for March 16th all the way through April 16th. Now, one thing I want to mention is that we're going to be in a Mercury retrograde period between the 22nd of March and April 15th. And so um, we're also going to look this month at how that will affect you in your love life in regards to being single. Because as you know, it's a time when like exes show up and we relearn lessons that we thought we moved past, things like that. So what's this reading going to have in it? Um, your month in general, what does it look like? Uh, looking at what you think you want versus what you actually need. We are going to see how other people are perceiving you, okay? We are going to look at the best actions that you can take in order to draw in the love life that you desire. And like I said, how that Mercury retrograde energy is going to be affecting you. So let's go ahead and get started. What's up? In general, in regards to your love life, it's like new possibilities. You've got this full energy. Like you don't know where you're heading. You don't know where you're going, but you're just going to trust that everything that's happened in the past, you know, was for a reason. And now you're heading in the right direction to find the love that you desire. Now, what it's saying is you're in this energy of like starting to realize and maybe based on um, the March reading in general for Aries, this will make sense. Um, you were challenged to kind of think about what kind of a partner do I want to be instead of what thinking about what you want. And um, so we're still sort of in that energy, right? Like more like what can I give to other people instead of what is it that I'm trying to bring in? We're trying to draw in, you know, the relationships that are um, going to be very trustworthy, very upfront, very honest. And so that's really good. So any sort of... Um, tendency that you had to maybe misrepresent things before that's now gone. That's something that's cleared away. But also um, if any tendency to draw in anybody who is like that, a little bit manipulative or um, whatever, that's now leaving you. So good, fantastic news. Um, what is it that you think you want in March in regards to like your love life? And they're saying, well, you're less focused on wanting to bring in, you know, this energy of like sexiness and stuff. You're thinking more practically in terms of your love life. And they're saying some of this is going to make you feel a little bit un unhappy, you know, as a result, like trying to think about things practically as opposed to like lusty, passionate, exciting energies. But it might be a smarter way to go about things. Um, what they're saying is that, um, you're, you're not as defensive maybe in really, in, in regards to, you know, like the relationships that you're drawing in now as you had been in the past. So as part of that lesson in like learning empathy, you know, maybe in the past while you were coupled, your partner would complain about something and you'd be like, no, that's entirely wrong. You know, they, maybe they say, you spend too much time at work and not enough time with me. And you'd be like, um, no, no, that you're, you're wrong. But now you're like becoming more capable of seeing things from their point of view. And it doesn't mean that you haven't been capable at all. I'm not judging you. I'm not saying like you were a shitty partner or anything like that. But I'm just saying like you're taking your skills to another level to be more empathetic and um, more accepting of what other people have to say and how they might be feeling in regards to, you know, their perception. Because the thing is, is you've got your own perception of like how things are going you know, when you're meeting people or um, of them and they've got their own perception of you and neither one of you is right or wrong. You both have your own inner truth. And, you know, like from an outside perspective, anyone else would say, well, the truth is somewhere in the middle. You're both right. You're both wrong. <laughs> so anyway, that, that's my point. Um, so, so what else is it that you think you want? And they're saying you want to not have to make like 
a lot of decisions this month in regards to your love life. What is it though that you actually need? And they're saying you need to go backwards. And so it's kind of perfect timing with this retrograde energy and think about your past and um, the pains as a result of that that you're still carrying around with you because any um, pain that you're still feeling you know from separating from somebody or um, you know from whatever might have happened in your relationship or maybe it's even the pain of not having a relationship we need to take a minute we need to look at those we need to work through those in order to be open to receive new love into our lives Okay, so how are other people going to be perceiving you this month? And they're saying like that they could instantly fall in love with you. <laughs> it, like other people are looking at you and they're like, this is love at first sight. This is everything that I ever wanted. They're saying um, they see you as like the kind of partner that they would want to be with ideally, like in a traditional sense, like, you know, in regards to stable long-term relationships, like marriages, things like that. They want to push relationships forward. They want to get to know you. They want to go out on dates with you. They're going to really want to be hyperspeed with this. And um, it's because they also have this need to have a very stable, secure relationship that is predictable and they can see that in you or at least they desire that with you when they meet you and they're like, oh my gosh, I am already in love with this person and I just met them. They find you very, very lovable. You're super attractive this month, so good for you. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Um, I wanted to tell you that for those of you who don't know, if you want to enter to win a free 20 minute video reading, because sometimes we can't afford it, um, you just enter one time at my website and then you're set for life. Every month you're in the drawing. And then um, if you're doing it for mobile, there's like a little smiley face icon at the bottom. It's green. You click on that and then you can enter to win that. Also, I wanted to tell you that I did a Facebook, not a Facebook, a YouTube live where I did, I answered cards for, um, or questions, you know, through the cards for an hour for people last Valentine's Day. And that was really fun. And a lot of people got a lot of things out of it. So, you know, like your one quick question kind of energy. Um, I think I'm going to do that again in April, but I won't like tell you here on YouTube except for right now. So, um, It'll probably be like beginning of April to middle of April. So if you want to keep on track with that, if you want to be alerted to that, Facebook's a good way to know. Um, that's usually where I'll post events or tell you like when the next videos are coming out or if I'm delayed or something like that. Like any announcements, I usually do those there. Um, what else did I want to tell you? I think that's about it. Oh, um, if you're interested in daily readings, I do those on Patreon. Uh, there's links in the description box below for that. Sometimes I'll do like a card of the day on Snapchat, but that's not as consistent. And I think that's all. Okay. Sorry. Um, whoa. So before I ask the next question, they wanted to say for some of you, um, it's feeling really challenging right now to be single. <laughs> They're saying that um, it's like... You're feeling, it's feeling challenging to be single in this time, but like you are so focused on work things that it's maybe for the best right now, although we are in this energy of being able to attract in people who are instantly drawn to us. So anyway, um, what is your course of action now having that knowledge? What's the best course of action to find your match, to find your soulmates or your twin flame? And they're saying, um, okay, so some of you are not viewing yourself as successful because you're single, you know, in regards to love. And they say that emotional balance has to come into play here. Um, understanding that like you're coming into a better place where you can start drawing it in that your energy has just recently shifted to put you in a better place to draw that in so how long would you necessarily uh, expect to be patient for as the universe starts bringing you things and they say that really depends on your ability to let go of um, you know past toxic people situations forgive and you know like cut that cord and move on um it all and this is your own destructive patterns and belief systems and things like that as well you know to let the things that aren't working anymore kind of crumble so you can step through a new door so for every single person it's going to be a little bit different now if you've already mastered this energy you could maybe expect to fall in love this month with your forever person. But for others of you who are sort of struggling, you know, to develop that more empathetic, um, 
side of yourself or to release relationships or people or situations from the past, it will take longer. So it's, it's going to be on a person to person basis, it seems for Aries in general. Um, how is this Mercury retrograde, speaking of X's, going to affect you? And it says, um, well, that whole energy of like not making decisions, that's going to play out to your benefit. Because if you're not in this energy of like deciding, okay, you know what, I'm going to go after my ex and I'm going to chase them and try to make it work, um, then you don't have anything like resisting new energy coming in. Like if you're just undecided about everything and open to everything, then possibilities are actually limitless for you. And the same thing is true when it comes to love coming in, like in the Mercury retrograde. You know, they say the Mercury retrograde isn't a good time to start new things, but to continue old things. And, you know, but if you totally learned your lessons, if you've let that tower fall, um, it will be an okay time for Aries to start new relationships because you aren't going to be so guarded as you usually are. In March in general, I don't know if you rem if you saw the Pisces and everything video that I put out. Um, March in general, everybody's a little bit more intuitive and a little bit more guided than they typically are. And so to follow your gut instincts is going to be the best thing for you. And if you're feeling like... Um, you know, you're more open as a result of that, then you definitely are and you can draw in the love that you want with a little bit more ease than usual. They're saying though, like this excitement, this confident energy, you know, this sexual energy that you usually have, it might, you, you're not having it as, as much, like it's not as strong, like maybe your libido is a little bit lower than usual. And so, um, that might scare you a little bit, but the good news about it is that, you know, when other people are looking for very stable, secure, longer term relationships, um, this seems to be something that you're more inclined to attract this month. And um, we already know that that's what people are looking for with you. And so they're saying, you know, you're lying to yourself if you think that those people aren't people that you could be lusty um, towards later. It's just like right now the energies are a little bit weird and you might feel a little bit strange. Um, not your very sexual, exciting, passionate self. But that energy can come back after the retrograde ends. And so to create, you know, conversations or dialogues or starting to get to know people isn't a bad idea at all. Being open to the idea of love coming in is very good for you. Okay. So, um, what is an area of focus we can do to help us bring this in? And they say again, with that energy of understanding, you know, with compassion, with empathy, um, and what they want you to do here with this card is to be patient and take, again, any of those bitter energies that we might have with that tower card and let them crumble, let them fall away. Understand why you feel the way you do, but also why other people are feeling the way that they feel. And come to this idea of understanding that, you know, you can love others better or at least help them to feel more loved when you are showing them sensitive support, when when they're feeling heard and validated in how they're feeling, even if it doesn't make sense to you, right? So embracing all these things you can um, without judgment, remember, because we had the judgment card in reverse, um, like kind of going, okay, I don't have to make decisions right now, and maybe my first impression isn't always accurate. Um, go with your gut instincts instead of your mind, because it is that Pisces and everything month, and, um, and yeah, and I think that will help you a lot. You know, in any situations that are kind of trying in regards to your love life this month, think about your reaction, your initial one. Is it valid? And, you know, um, should this change? And kind of like take a deep breath and, and try to come to an understanding like why, are you, why am I feeling this way? And then why is the other person feeling this way? Okay, um, but that included like when your confidence isn't as high this month, you also want to remember um, other people are attracted to you. They're drawn to you. They could instantly fall in love with you. And you need to remember why that is. You know, remember all of the good qualities that you have to offer other people and why it is that they're so attracted to you in the first place, because that'll give you more enthusiasm um, in order to bring in the things you want per the law of attraction. So that is your reading, and I will see you in April for general readings. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, 
click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!